Morning guys. It's Wednesday, August the 4th, and here's the time. Uh, the temperature is 90 degrees with 57% humidity. I'm out on the garden patio getting ready to ask for some help in identifying, I think, a first-time blooming catalea because I can't find any footage uh, in YouTube regarding this catalea. Right? It's a little dehydrated. The position was up on the green wall here and uh, it's in a net pot and it's, it's growing lithophytically basically on on rocks I don't have any other I have a little might have a little bit of a, a sphagnum in there but not very much I need to move this before I kill that new growth yep and it has a new growth coming here so and a little point there got plenty of eyes eyes here eyes there so after I ask for some help in identifying this cat layer I'm going to repot it after it finishes blooming after you know any well after it finished blooming and not before I'll give it a little more water retentive medium probably some cocoa husk we'll see how it does in the cocoa husk and uh, going forward we'll move on to something a little more water retentive so it kicked out a nice bud here with four flowers on it. I'm going to try to get a close up so you can actually see the petals and sepals and the throat. Let's see if we can open this up. It kind of opens up a bit. Look down in there. And the, uh, the leaves are sort of, I want to say some are a little spotted than others. Like this petal here you have a little spotting barely can see it dark 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 burgundy uh, sepals and petals it's beautiful let's see if it has a fragrance yes it's it's a beautiful fragrance oh my god it's, it smells like a great great body soap or body lotion something that I would definitely put on my body and we'll try to open up this sepal here see, so we can look in there for some help in IDing this catalea. I want to say that it's a cross, um, but I'm not sure because I can't find the tag. It was one of the orchids that the catalea's that fell off the 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 shelves and I called it a royal disaster. It was a mess and uh, tags were lost. So we're going to give you another little close up here on what it looks, how it looks. It's beautiful. Very nice. Got a funny shaped sepal there if that's what you guys call it. That's closing, that's protecting the pollen sac. It's beautiful. Fuchsia lip it's beautiful so if I can get some help in ID in this catalea oh here the back here's the back side of the catalea try to get some of that the sun shining in my face basically it looks like that from the rear it's beautiful but I don't recall obviously it did flower and I can't find the footage. I've looked all through the YouTube uh, videos and I can't find it so I'm asking for a little more help here so I can keep track of my notes. I don't want to guess as to what it is. It's beautiful. Yeah and I want to thank you guys in advance for helping and uh, Have a great orchid growing day. Yeah, that's absolutely a keeper. So we're going to repot it in, in hopes of extending its life. Happy growing. I'm going to get another whiff. Oh, my God. I can't explain that. I really can't explain that fragrance because I've never... Uh, experienced it before but it's floral I'm gonna try it's floral it's subtle 
it's but it's it's pretty it's a pretty smell it's not overwhelming because obviously i i stuck my nose in there and it didn't bother me it's nice and soft that fragrance and it's beautiful it's a beautiful smell some spottings on this petal here yeah let's try to look in there yeah it's beautiful so guys thanks for stopping by yeah and have a great orchid growing day that's beautiful i love this I'm, it's a keeper happy growing instead of uh repotting this lost tag catalea i just decided to stuff some cocoa husk around the base of it uh, to create a little more humidity for it hopefully and then i had a tiny seedling also sitting in a pot to create uh, some uh, humidity they both were potted up in uh, substrate growing uh, lithophytically so I think it needs a little more moisture than what I was giving it right I don't like my catalyst looking this severely dehydrated so uh, those new growths that are coming along they should fare much better not much better they should fare fare better than uh, what we have going on now should move some of this husk out of the way so that new growth can have room and not rot out from the moisture of this cocoa husk absolutely the rest of the eyes will just poke through and they'll be just fine but i don't want to kill this this more progressive new growth here that's coming along yeah so that's just a quick update on what i'm doing for this lost tag catalea absolutely happy growing